Well, I came to glass quite late. I was in my late 30s, early 40s. I'd been made redundant from my previous career at London University as a historical geographer, and I happened to see some of Alison Kinnaird's glass in a window of a gallery in Cork Street. And this was intriguing because you couldn't tell where it was engraved and what was inside the glass and what was on the surface. It was a visual puzzle to me. And I thought, now this is really using the material in a way that I find novel, interesting, inspiring. I like the way things work. I'm probably a frustrated engineer. My father was a great sort of can-do DIY engineer. He was a mechanical engineer as well. And although I'm not very good at electrics, I'm quite intrigued by metalworking and stuff. So all that side of it, I really like doing. It's far too easy to imitate what happened before. But the challenge is to make it contemporary. And the challenge is to use the thing that originally appealed to me, which was to make something that looked as if it was actually inside the glass. Um, so, yes, I think there's no excuse. My stuff tends to be, some people would say, a bit sort of early 20th century. But I try to do objects and subjects that will say something more about life now, not life before. <laughs>